Good day everyone. We are going to discuss and show you a demonstration of our device from our research entitled E-textile based fetal heart rate monitoring using electric condenser microphone. The purpose of our device is to check the fetal health condition by determining the fetal heart rate and its corresponding status on pregnant women under third trimester of pregnancy. It is a user-friendly fetal heart rate monitoring device for determining possible fetal risks that may arise based on the fetal heart rate during the third trimester of pregnancy. The device is a lightweight belly and back support e-textile device for pregnant women that shows the fetal heart rate and the fetal heart status. The components are attached in a prenatal belt which serves as a support for the pregnant woman's belly on the third trimester of pregnancy. As you can see in the inner part of the prenatal belt, there are two stethoscope heads attached. These stethoscope heads serve as an amplifier to let the electric condenser microphone receive deeper signal from the pregnant's belly. The stethoscope heads are placed in contact on the left and right side of the pregnant's belly. The reason for this is that these sides are the most common positions of the fetus where its heart tone is most significant. The stethoscope is connected to a box placed outside of the prenatal belt. This is done to make the device as comfortable as possible to the pregnant woman. The box contains the microcontroller, the Bluetooth module, and other components that is needed to process the signal received. For the demonstration of our e-textile device, the device is wrapped around the pregnant's belly. It is strapped properly so that the stethoscope heads of the device is in contact appropriately on the pregnant's belly. The device is then turned on by pressing the white button of the box. This would make a blinking light which indicates that it has turned on and is ready to connect to the application. To connect the fetal monitor application to the e-textile device, the Bluetooth of the Android mobile phone must be turned on. After turning on the Bluetooth of the Android mobile phone, you can now open the application. It will show the available connections. Select HZ05. Once connected, the graph of the fetal heart signal will be shown, but no values yet is displayed until you manually start the recording. Tap the Start Recording button to start the reading of the fetal heart rate. Once recording has started, it will continuously record and log all the data received. On the top part of the screen, you can see the graphical representation of the fetal heart signal, followed by the numerical value of the fetal heart rate in bits per minute. A normal fetal heart rate ranges from 120 bits per minute to 160 bits per minute. In this demonstration, a range of 141 bits per minute to 155 bits per minute is acquired, which indicates that a normal fetal heart rate status is acquired. Here are all the fetal heart rate status that may be acquired in a reading shown in the application. A specific text color is assigned to the different ranges of the fetal heart rates and its corresponding fetal heart rate status. 
a green text color indicates a normal fetal heart rate status. A yellow text color indicates a warning fetal heart rate status. And a red text color indicates an abnormal fetal heart rate status. The logs of all the data acquired are displayed below. Each log includes the date and time when the specific reading was taken, as well as the fetal heart rate in bits per minute acquired. If done, tap the Stop Recording button. Clicking the button will terminate the recording of data. These data are all saved locally on a text file. The device is turned off by pressing again the white button of the box. After that is to unstrap the prenatal belt on the pregnant's belly once done. This is the e-textel device that the researchers were able to develop as a fetal heart rate monitoring system for pregnant women on their third trimester of pregnancy. The device was able to determine the fetal heart rate and was able to display its corresponding fetal heart rate status. That is the end of our demonstration. Thank you for watching.